I just wanted to do a uh, video because I have uh, I just read a, um, a study that was talking about um, young people who got COVID and had had heart issues. And then I kept uh, reading all these comments because it was Yahoo and uh, see all these idiots talking about how that the vaccines wasn't tested, that they, uh, you know, the side effects and uh, all these bullshit things that they said they got after they got the vaccine. Some of those may be, some of them might be telling the truth, maybe. I'm not going to say they are because I, I really, I don't know them people. But the only thing I can go by is my own experience. Me and my whole family have got the shot and we're boosted. And not one of us. I have actually had, I've actually got, I believe it's two boosters. I got the first booster. And um, not too long ago, I got the uh, the updated one with the... Uh, with the uh, variant, you know, the uh, the vaccine for the variants, so it covers more, uh, you know, more strains than the original, original, even the last one that I got, so I have, I've had four shots, my mom and dad have had four shots, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure, well, I know that my brother's got his shots, I know my sister's got her shots, my nieces, nephews have got their shots, and, um, None of us in our family, not even my grandmother who is uh, over 80 years old, none of us have had COVID and none of us have had severe side effects. None of us have had any kind of, including my, my nephews and my niece, my niece is young, she's in her early 20s, my, my, my nephews are... Um, John's, uh, I think, 15, 16. Liam's r around 10 years old. Plus, I do believe that my niece Alyssa got vaccinated. She's around 14, I guess, around that age. Um, I don't know exactly right. She's younger. She, she's, you know, she's a young teen. But uh, none of us have had COVID. And none of us have had severe side effects. So, what I don't get is they have a study about, about, you know, the side effects of people who get COVID and it severely damages their heart muscles. And then they're falsely acquainted with the vaccine like they didn't read the article. Which, there has been kids who got the Pfizer shot. Actually, was it Johnson Johnson? Actually, I think it was Johnson and Johnson. And they had... Um, the myocarditis or whatever it is of the heart, inflammation of the heart. But as long as it's treated, it didn't do any damage. Now, the COVID, you know, the kids who got the COVID, the teenagers and, and young people who got COVID, some of them have, you know, some of their hearts are permanently damaged and um, from not having the vaccine. Now, I'm not saying that... Uh, like I said, I'm not saying that, uh, that, you know, they didn't have no side effects or, you know, there was no, nobody reacted negatively to it. But, you know, just like anything, you know, there's people, um, you know, allergic to penicillin. There's, there's people allergic to different medicines. They can't take them because they can't handle them. Their body, there, there's something in their body that just, that, that reacts negatively to those ingredients in whatever medicine. And it's, you know, that happens regardless not everybody's body chemistry is the same. So, it's likely that people did have, you know, side effects. But, there's actually quite a few people who have killed themselves because of long COVID. They couldn't get rid of it, and they killed themselves because of long COVID. I don't know anybody, and I've not heard of anybody having sustained symptoms of any kind with the vaccine. So... You know, it's your life, you can do what you want, but over a million people have died of COVID in the United States. That's people who would be here if they, w you know, either got the vaccine um, when it was available or they actually got COVID before it was available and they died because of that. Because 
you know, there's a lot of Americans that's not healthy. You know, they're they're overweight, high blood pressure, diabetes, etc. There's a lot of very unhealthy Americans. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why we have a high death rate from COVID. But um, I, I don't understand. I don't understand the fixation against vaccines. I really don't get it. There's so many things that we have overcome because of vaccines. And vaccines are made for the betterment of humanity. They are to save human lives. They are, they're not to hurt, they're to help. It's not like somebody's got a malicious intent when making a vaccine. They're doing it to better mankind. They're doing it to save people. And I don't understand why this anti-vaccine shit is going around. I really don't understand it because there's so many things that are very serious that we have overcome. One of them's polio, and there's a there's a ton of other things because of vaccines. It, it's not like they're they're made to kill people. I mean, I I don't and I you know I don't understand people. I don't understand people saying, you know that that. The government wants people to die. Okay, you know, that totally makes no sense because if they kill people, they're not going to be able to get tax revenue and that will kind of unravel the government. So it makes no sense that they want people to die. You know, either whether it be the vaccine makers or the government. So I just want to put this out there because I've got four shots and I'm plenty healthy, you know, um, but... Um, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you for watching. Cherish your family. Um, have a nice evening and goodbye. Oh, like and subscribe. <laughs> I almost forgot. Like and subscribe. Cherish your family. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>